And we're on Jazz Street with Mr. Jeremy Pelt. Jeremy, welcome back to Rochester. Oh, man, it's such a pleasure to be back here after so long. How much has changed the last three years? <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> well, a couple of good, a couple of major positive highlights. Two books, Grio, parts one and two, yeah. and then also your new album. What's it called? Soundtrack. Yes, it's a, it's a feel-good album. <laughs> Indeed. Talk about that. What, what, everybody has a different way of processing a new, getting ready to make new material. When do you realize it's time for you to put out something new? As soon as I record the old one. Really? No, and it's not even a joke. I mean, it's like what I'll do is a lot of sometimes people, there's two types of people in my estimation uh, when I'm talking about artists. There are those that record the record and then, you know, they don't want to listen back to what they recorded right away, you know, that, to, just to give themselves time, which I can understand, too, before they mix it. Whereas I'm the type of person that's very, like, methodical. So it's like as soon as I record it and we're done with it, I take it home and I start listening to it, you know, just an unhealthy amount of times, you know, just to figure out what I want to mix and do. And, and then by the time I finish doing all that, then I've heard it so many times I don't want to hear it anymore. But the, the rub is that it's, it hasn't even come out yet. So it's not even going to come out for another seven months. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm already on to the next record. Speaking with Jeremy Pelt. Jeremy, talk about tonight's band. Who ends the band's on the album, so who are they? Yes, it's my recording band, uh, Quintet, that I've had for the last few years. It's uh, Chain Chain Lou on the vibraphone and uh, Victor Gould on the piano and the keyboards and Vicente Archer on bass and Alan Mednard on drums. What's it like working with this album for so long and all of you get to show it to, to the people with the work you put into this? It's always a thrilling thing. I mean, I think that's the thing that we look forward to the most is not only performing the music that we just recorded, but really starting to live it because there's a difference between when, you, when you're recording versus when you're playing it night after night, then it becomes a whole different animal. Jeremy, let's talk about your, your two books, Grio. What inspired you to pick up the pen and, uh, and record and document the experiences of our elders and people who are on the field today? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, so it all came from, from Art Taylor's Notes and Tones. Um, and when I was in school, in college and in high school, um, I always thought somebody should be doing something like this for the current generation. And I kept thinking that until I decided that that somebody should be me. And that was 20 years in the making to come to that decision. Um, and I think that the healthy thing about it is that once you're on the scene for, you know, I've been on the scene for almost 25 years, so you kind of start to build that trust with the, the elders and everybody that you play with to where they're willing to open up and talk to you. Speaking with Jeremy Pelt, playing two sets tonight at Kilbourne Hall. Jeremy, congratulations on all the success. To learn more about the new album as well as the new books, where can we go? You can go to my website, certainly, and it'll direct you everywhere, jeremypelt.net. The fabulous Mr. Pelt, again, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. <laughs>